These are moments when cops risk it all to save an innocent's life. Faith the Hilltown Fire and Police Departments, who on July the 23rd of 2020 were dispatched to a large horse barn that had caught on fire. When first responders arrived, they were advised that there was still one horse inside the barn that was refusing to come out. Is everyone out? Come on, boy. Out. Let's go. Come on. Come on. Come on, boy. Come on. Out. Give me a rope. Give me a rope. Come here. Come here. Come on. Come on. Come on. Go. Come on. Yeah, watch out, Christian. Watch out, Christian. Come on. Come on Pull it, Chris. Pull it, Chris. Come on, horse. Pull it, Chris. Come on, horse. Pull it, Chris. Come on. Come on, baby. Go. Come on, baby. Help us pull. Help us pull. Help us pull. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on, Christian. Oh, come on. Come on, Christian. Help us pull. Help us pull. Help us. Help us pull. Okay. Holy dude. Holy dude. Good job. I ripped my hand in. You all right? Firefighters arrived minutes later and tended to the fire, which by then had engulfed the top of the barn house. All of the animals were successfully rescued and the officers escaped unharmed. The only injuries sustained were to a few farmhands, one of whom was kicked by a horse. But a lot of people would probably prefer a donkey kick over being under a burning car. His arm is trapped underneath the door. We're trying to lift the vehicle, but we can't get it up. In 2016, police were alerted to a vehicle crash where a victim's arm was pinned under an overturned SUV, which was, of course, on fire. When an officer arrived, civilians were already standing around the vehicle trying to comfort the victim and save his arm. 15, the vehicle, the engine was on fire. Oh my god! All right, we gotta try to lift it up. Where's your arm trapped, sir? Let's see if we can, three of us go. Sir, where's your arm trap? Oh All right, God. come on, right here. Ready? One, two, three, lift! Lift! Go, 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 go! Go! Lift! Keep pushing! Okay. I don't care! One, two, three, you guys ready? One, two, three, go! Lift! Can we, can we push it the other way? Which way is your arm trap, sir? My arm is stuck under the door! We need more people. His arm is trapped underneath the door. We're trying to lift the vehicle, but we can't get it up here. Sir, come here! No. Come here, we need help trying to push this up! Yeah! You, come here! Quick, run! Oh, 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 God, please help me open! Ready? Let's go! Come on, one, two, three! Up! Up! Go! Go! With the car on fire and threatening to explode, the rescue team was finding it impossible to flip the SUV back onto its wheels. One last good Samaritan rushed over to see if he could help before they had to take more drastic measures to save the victim. Fortunately, the rescue team was able to lift the truck just enough for the victim to snatch his arm from under it, and the group immediately fled the area to avoid being caught in an explosion. The fire was soon after extinguished, and the victim was transported to the hospital with his arm intact. But an exploding car is nothing compared to the massive damage an exploding semi truck can do. On March the 2nd of 2020, an officer initiated
initiated a traffic stop on Interstate 287, and the driver pulled to the side of the road without issue. The officer introduced himself, and the stop was going smoothly, until a nearby tractor-trailer suddenly swerved off the road, collided with a guardrail, and burst into flames. How's your wife? You're good. Get out of here. Truck's on fire, driver's inside. Like heroes out of an action movie, the officers yanked the driver out of the cab and carried him just a few feet before the semi-truck exploded, engulfing the cab in flames. Ultimately, both officers had managed to avoid injury and the driver was immediately transported to the hospital for treatment. He reportedly suffered a dizzy spell while behind the wheel, which had caused him to crash into the railing before plowing into a bridge abutment. He was, by all accounts, lucky to be alive. But that wasn't as close of a brush with death as this next case where a victim passed out while trapped inside of a burning building. On February the 18th of 2020, a home on East Empire Street suddenly caught fire with a man inside. And when officers arrived, thick clouds of smoke were billowing out of the windows, and a bystander informed the officers that the interior of the home was too hot for entry. Stairs. Uh, it's all smoked. Okay. So I went in this room. If you go in into the left, it looks okay. like it goes into a living room, but it, it gets super bad. Super bad. Okay. Uh, the first door you go through, you start feeling heat. Okay. Yeah. I don't think we're going to be here. Police Department, anyone in here? With two minutes having passed, the victim is almost certainly suffering respiratory damage from smoke inhalation. His likelihood of survival was steadily decreasing as an officer searched for another way into the house. <coughs> The victim was unconscious when he was found, and if left any longer, he likely would have succumbed to the burns on his lungs due to smoke inhalation and third-degree burns to his legs. But thanks to the quick actions of the driver, the victim had made it to the hospital just in time for doctors to save his life. But for some, the next case will be a lot more terrifying, especially those that are scared of water. On September the 6th of 2018, 51-year-old Juan Munoz Valencia's wife was barely managing to hold him above water and keep him alive as a deputy arrived to rescue him. But there was one small problem, namely the 10-foot fence and five acres of land that stood between the officer and the victim. Okay. 
You okay? You good? Can you breathe? Right. Without hesitation, the officer crossed the obstacles in less than a minute and made a beeline for the victim, whom he successfully pulled from the water. Juan was quickly transported to North Bay Hospital, where he would then be listed in critical condition. While that was an impressive rescue, sometimes saving the day takes more than brute strength, like this next case where an officer's intuition had saved two women from an explosion. Come on, go with me, Mom. Walk. No, don't sit down. Can I you want me to carry her? On January the 2nd of 2017, police were alerted to a vehicle that was driving erratically on Route 57. An officer located the vehicle and initiated a traffic stop, but immediately noticed the suspect's hood was smoking. Hey, pop your hood real quick. Fire. Can you let the fire department know this vehicle's gonna be on? Uh, it's starting to catch on fire. Alright, let me give you a hand. Come on, go with me, Mom. Walk. No, don't sit down. Can I, you want me to carry her? I can carry you if you want. Come on, walk. Can you walk with the man? Come on, we're just going to walk back this way. As it would turn out, the officer's intuition was correct. No sooner had they extracted the elderly woman from the car did the hood burst into flames. I'm sorry, ma'am. I'm just worried about you. All right? All right. I got you. If you can climb in so we can back up. I'm sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. I think we've got your legs here. I'm sorry. She'll be fine. She will. Thanks to the officer's quick thinking, both of the women had escaped the vehicle without injury, and the fire department was there soon afterwards to extinguish the flames. But that's not as scary as when vehicle eruptions happen in a populated area. On February the 11th of 2017, police received a call from the local Jack in the Box stating that a pickup truck had suddenly caught fire in the drive thru The driver had managed to get his wife and child out of the truck uninjured, but the truck was still threatening to explode and set the restaurant on fire. <laughs> Quick thinking officer used his cruiser to push the flaming vehicle into the street, effectively getting other drivers and the Jack in the Box employees out of the blast zone, but risking his own life in the process. Push the truck away from the building. I'm not sure if the structure's actually caught in fire, but the uh, truck is. Uh, in the parking lot. The fire department arrived soon afterwards to put out the fire and the incident was handled without any injuries. But in this next case, not everybody made it out of the vehicle before the fire began raging out of control. Stand up! Come to the back! Come on, get to the back! Get to the back! Come on, this way, hurry! On June the 21st of 2020, an officer was out on patrol in the Knights Ferry area when he happened to witness a truck suddenly swerve off the road and crash before the front end caught on fire. Without a moment to lose, the officer immediately pulled over, hopped out of his patrol car, and ran to the scene where the driver was stuck in the truck. Vehicle rolled over, it's on fire right now. I got the 
vehicle rolls over and I'm fired. arrived at the scene minutes later and rushed the victim to the hospital where he was expected to recover. While that was a close call, perhaps no one is luckier to be alive than the next victim after being crushed by a full-sized minivan. Someone needs to get on his legs and yank his ass all the way out. Yeah. On April the 15th of 2023, police responded to a residential driveway where a 50-year-old man was pinned under his neighbor's van. He'd reportedly been doing some mechanical work underneath it when the car jack slipped, causing the large vehicle to collapse on top of him. Do you have any other big rocks? No. Yeah, they going to grab one right now. Do we have anything else to stabilize? It's not working. The no, jack? It won't go on no further. Okay. Hudson, you want to try to lift this car for a little bit? Hang in there. Cool. Hang in there. Lift it up on your feet right now. By this point, the victim had been under the van for nearly 10 minutes and had gone into cardiac arrest due to the weight of the vehicle hindering his breathing. All the way out. Yep. You guys ready? I'm, I'm three. One, two, three, go. Got him. We need to move him to where we can uh, help him out. Yes. Clear that brick so we can. Yes. Yep. Yes. 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 Right quick, quick assessment. Yep. Right yeah, it's agonal, so we're gonna go for it. Nope. The officers got the victim to the paramedics just in time for them to resuscitate him and restore his pulse before he was rushed to the hospital. If that was terrifying to watch, then this next rescue will look like something straight out of a nightmare. On March the 2nd of 2017, a witness contacted the police stating that they'd heard screaming coming from the Salt River bottom. Upon arrival, police discovered a man was submerged in deep water. The buildup of water from the heavy rain earlier in the week had been released into the river bottom that day, and the homeless man who was living there was rendered helpless when the area flooded. <laughs> Police figured that their best bet was to use a helicopter to locate and rescue the victim who was holding on to debris to stay afloat. However, he was becoming increasingly weak in the effort to fight against the rough current, and time was running out.
Despite the perilous weather, paramedics were able to make it to the scene and clear the victim of any significant injuries. If you enjoyed this video, watch this one, and don't forget to subscribe.